We have so many things in the collision industry that we have to learn. Well, who teaches the people that teach us? <laughs> Today, we're talking with one of those teachers. He's from Carliner, and he's got some really cool stuff to talk about, some neat products that are new to the collision industry, plus something that he recommends with all of the exposure and education that he gets. Really good takeaways. I'm honestly impressed. Yeah, that's right. Keep watching. It's going to be good. Welcome to Body Bangin', your podcast for all things body. Auto body, that is. And now, introducing Body Bangin's host, Mickey Woods of Mickey Woods Marketing. Mickey is a former auto collision center owner and is now a marketing and business development expert to shops across the globe. Hello, and welcome to today's episode of the Body Bang and Podcast. So, first and foremost, got to thank my sponsored Lombard Equipment. Thank you, Lombard, for making this possible. They sell equipment new and refurbished on the East Coast. So, thanks to Lombard. And also, want to remind you guys if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you're subscribed. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure you're following so you don't miss a single episode. Now, if you don't remember, we are at the Southeast Collision Conference and we are talking to all kinds of people. And today we have Chad Dellinger. The company he's with is Autotality, and he actually represents, which I didn't realize, but Autotality owns a bazillion companies, and he represents Carliner. So hello. Hello, Chad. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's great to be here. Yeah. So did you know that you were going to be doing this today? I had no clue. <laughs> surprise, surprise. No preparation Good. necessary. Okay. So... Tell us a little bit about so you're you have a booth there at the Southeast Collision Conference, right? Yes. Is this your first year? This is our second year. Oh, okay. We have been a platinum sponsor now for three years. Nice. Very cool. So are you there with other teammates of yours? Yes. I have five of my colleagues here today. Oh my goodness. Um, doing live demonstrations and uh, showing the equipment. Wow. Okay. So now you are representing, is everything that you've got there today for Carliner? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so we do sell garment paint booths, mm -hmm. um, but of course they're too big to bring into the show. So we just have <laughs> yeah. pictures of those. Right. Right. So what kind of stuff are you showing off today in your booth over there? So the most popular piece that we have in our booth today is the speed bench. And uh, it's great for light pulls. It has a 5,500 pound lift capacity and it has a five ton pull capacity. It's a very small profile. It's about mm. 12, 12 foot long. It only stands off the ground about four inches. So it's, oh, it's, wow. a, it's a body man's dream. So yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't cover all the boxes for you know, your harder pulls or mm -hmm. your bench type fixtures that would be required for some of the new repairs. But for um, the body man in his style, not having to leave the style to go to the frame machine, which is right. usually in the corner or in another shop. So yeah, it gives an, it checks a box and gives the body man another solution. So is, that seems to be the hottest product that you guys have right now. I've got 10 people interested in, in them this week, yes. Wow. Yeah, and you've only been there a couple of days, right? Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so what other, if you feel like that is the most popular, I assume size, the ease of use, that type of thing. What seems yes. to be like your main product that is like tried and true? Well, of course, Carliner is known for their measuring. They have uh, yeah. three three measuring teams around the world. So all of our data is inserted uh, manually. So oh, we actually okay. measure these cars and, and we take the pictures of the points that the technicians will be seeing and using. Okay. So this is something that somebody's actually had their hands on. So, you know, it's been tested and yeah. tuned to, that it's going to work when, when you need it to. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's so, important. So that's uh, that's basically the bread and butter with Carliner, I would say, is is the measuring system, being able to measure the car three dimensionally. Yeah. Um, and and we have a ton of cars on the database. They've been doing this since 1987. Oh my goodness! Wow, that is super cool. I didn't realize that it's been around for so long. 
Although it seems like it's been around forever. So it makes sense. Carliner came over to the United States. All of it's still made in Sweden. So it's oh, okay. exceptionally built. And uh, they came over to the United States in about 1987. Okay. So when we're talking about like technology and all of the changes of technology that we're seeing everywhere, we've got like all of this ADAS stuff and all of these EVs. What is Carliner doing to support uh, the industry with all of that stuff that's going on? So the specialty clamps and the fixtures that's going to be required to mount cars today is going to be the newest thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, cars today are going to have batteries on the bottom of the car and they're not right. going to have pin pinch welds. So that was the way that you held the car to be able to do any type of pull before. And that's going to be gone now because there's going to be batteries down there. So we have specialty right. fixtures is, and, and then Evo, of course, to be able to hold the car in certain areas and control the pull. So it's, mm -hmm. it's really getting more technical yeah. uh, and more complex. So now you do training also for Carliner, right? Yes, yes. we have a, a two-day training class in Mooresville, North Carolina, once a month. And we also have a two-day training class in Alpharetta, Georgia, okay. once a month. Nice. So basically any shops can come out to that? Yes, it's a seven ninety five dollars charge per tech for the class. Okay. And then we include it with the purchase of any of our equipment. So anyone oh, nice. that purchases our equipment gets two free classes. Yeah. Um, so we keep the classes pretty full. Uh, I bet you do. Well, and that's the tricky part is like there's so much evolution, especially recently. It feels like in our industry, things are changing so rapidly. So fast. So fast. So you as a trainer, I'm sure, are constantly having to learn so that you can then pass on that information. Do you feel yes. that? Yes. Yes. Just uh, about a month ago, I went to the Snap-on facility in Conway, Arkansas, and did the train the trainer event where we had mm. newer stuff that we was going over to be able to share within the training classes that we hold ourselves. Yeah. So is that something you're constantly doing? Is it is a full time job. Yeah. <laughs> full time yeah. job. I would imagine because not only are you selling, but you've got to stay on top of all of the learning curves to help the other people. Yes, yes. Wow. It's good to have a background in the in, in the industry for sure. I started in two thousand, right out of high school. It's the only oh, thing okay. I, the only thing I've ever done. So there you I go. Would, I wouldn't know how to do anything else. <laughs> right, right. Well, you're the perfect person for the job then. <laughs> so I if people so. are interested in like the new uh, speed bench that you've got or any of the measuring systems, what would you recommend that they do? Or they've got questions. I mean, the speed bench sounds really interesting. So there's two ways to connect with us. It, the easiest way, because this conference covers so many different territories, is to go to the Carliner website. Okay. You can um, ask questions about any of the products, and they will find the distributor for you, and then Carliner will oh, reach okay. out to us and, and tune them with who they need to be with. Or you can go to our own website, which is autotality.com. Okay. That makes it easy. I'm going to write that in my notes so I can put it in the description for people. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So if there's something you feel like you hope people at the conference take away or even listening to this, because this is, I don't know if you know about the Body Banging Podcast, but now you will because you're on yes. it. <laughs> yes. But it reaches thousands of people. So if, is there anything that you feel like you'd like for people to know or be paying attention to? Yes. So what we're seeing in the industry is is... It's already happened with the mechanical side, the pre-scan, post-scan being mm -hmm. required on every car that comes in the door. What right. we're going to start seeing is measuring. We're going to need pre-measuring and post-measuring on every car because it's so right. important that everything is in the correct spot. And yeah. we have the solution, multiple measuring systems to be able to record that data to make sure the car is going down the road just as good as it was before and keeping the passengers safe. So it's it's yeah. important to share the knowledge and and do the training and have the active training facilities to be able to repair cars the way they were intended to be repaired by the OEM repair procedure. You are definitely a trainer because you said that better than I think I could have ever said it. Well, thank you. <laughs> yes. See, hear, uh, from the, hear from the expert. You, not me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we breathe this stuff and we we think about it at night when we're asleep. So right, we we live it. Yeah. 
Yeah. And such a good point. And there's shops out there still not doing the pre and post scans. What do you think yes. about that? Well, it's it's coming to where it's going to be something that's required. And and yeah. measuring is something that I would like to be more a part of it in the setup process. I know they're doing all kinds of studies. They did the blend study. Mm-hmm. And and I would like to be able to offer because everyone knows the setup and measure in a shop is always been standardized at one and a half hours or two hours, maybe. Right. And and the fact is, it takes more time to do that. Yes. Uh, depending on the bench that you have, you could have a half a day in setup and measure and you're only getting paid two hours. So right. it's going to have to change from the insurance side of things. It's going to have to change from the documentation mm-hmm. side of things because when you give more proof that you've done this much work, and you have this much documentation, you're more likely to get paid for the job that you're doing. True. Absolutely. Yeah. SCRS did that blend study. Is that the one you're talking about? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That would be great if you could start to shift that. And that might be something too for shops to talk to. I don't know if you're familiar with the DEG. Danny Gretenberg spoke yesterday. Yes. Where the times for things are in the management or like CCC and that kind of thing. Um, Potentially, that would be a great thing for a shop to submit an inquiry about that. And you could even talk with Danny about trying to get some movement on that for shops. That would be great. Yes. Yeah. That would be good. Do you know Danny? Because if you don't, let me know and I can introduse you. I don't. You'll have to to introduce me. We'll have to share information. Yeah, I'll hook you up. (laughs) <laughs> whatever you we know. can do to help the shops, right? That's right. Yeah, I love it. Uh, well, I appreciate it. Um, Chad, I know that this was sprung on you, so I appreciate you <laughs> showing up. and Last minute, yeah. In game. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put all the information for Chad below and how to contact Carliner if you're interested in getting more information or Autotality. And I appreciate you for coming on. I appreciate you for spending your time and your efforts in learning because being a former shop owner and working with shops all across the country, Canada and everything, we are all so in need of education and we really need the educators to get educated. Yes. <laughs> So yes. I appreciate you and I thank you for all from all of us really for for being that for for our industry. Well, thank you for having me on here today. Yeah, no problem. Well, thank you all for listening in. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure that you check out Lombard Equipment's website also. I'm going to put that below as our sponsor. And we will see you next time. Bye. Thank you. If you enjoyed today's show, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We have some incredible topics and guests coming your way you will not want to miss. If you are watching on YouTube and don't want to miss the latest and greatest, you'll want to hit the bell after subscribing so you will get a pop-up each time a video podcast goes live. To our devoted fans, would you mind paying it forward and sharing this little gem with someone else you think may benefit from it? Much love from all of us here at Body Bangin', all things Autobody.